are alpha males born or are they made? Because you'll hear a lot of debate with guys saying that, nope, if you're not born alpha, you'll never be alpha. Alpha males are just alpha from the womb. And the truth of that is yes and no. Okay, yes and no. Because there are a lot of guys who are born alpha and throughout life, throughout life's challenges and throughout uh, the indoctrination of uh, the media, a lifetime of that, a lot of these guys become beta, right? They become beta-tized. Whereas a lot of guys who might come out of the womb beta, okay, they wise up throughout life, they see what's going on around them in society, and they become alpha, and they learn the traits of an alpha. They become better leaders, they become, uh, they gain self-confidence, and they, you know, they work on themselves, and by doing so, they become alpha, right? After so many years, after so much work, right? So you can put in the work, and you can go from alpha to beta. Just because you were not born alpha doesn't mean you're, that you're, you're stuck being some beta male. No, you can always improve yourself. You can always work on yourself. Okay, you can always become better. Just like if you were born alpha, you know, and you were this uh, gregarious uh, kid, and you know, you were, you know, hot shot and everything, doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna stay that. Okay, it doesn't mean you're necessarily gonna stay that. It's gonna be easier for you if you were born with those qualities, obviously. If you were born with those qualities of an alpha, and yes, that fire truck's coming from out here because I'm on the Vegas Strip. As you can see, it is a Saturday, Saturday night here, and there are a lot of, uh, a lot of cars, a lot of people. Um, in any case, yeah, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a view here. But, uh, there goes uh, the Dre's Beach Nightclub across over here. Starts kicking it around like uh, midnight. People start hitting it. But uh, anyway, not my favorite club. I like Excess better. <laughs> I think going to the Beach Club. But in any case, uh, yeah, just because you are uh, born alpha, it doesn't mean that you're going to stay alpha and vice versa. Just because you're born beta doesn't mean that you're going to stay beta. Uh, you could obviously always improve, work on things. Um, you will have life experiences uh, that can change you, that will change you, and will determine the direction you go in. Um, there are a lot of guys, I mean, even guys that I've coached through pickup and game that were socially, you know, awkward and had a lot of like weird tendencies, used to dress kind of like uh, not so appealing. And uh, I helped them, worked on their image, uh, did a little consulting and uh, helped them gain confidence, taught them how to socialize, brought them into situations and they worked on themselves. And, you know, it didn't happen overnight, but fast forward, year, two years, three years later, they're a completely different person and they're in a completely different place in life. And uh, to me, those guys are, you know, those guys are alpha now, you know, it's like, were they born alpha? Absolutely not. Did they live their lives as an alpha? No, they lived their lives pretty beta. But I mean, they took steps to dramatically change the direction of their lives and improve themselves and become more confident, raise their level of self-esteem, um, change their social circle, you know, and find out who they really are deep inside and really just unleash that. You know, so uh, I don't agree with what a lot of these guys say is that like, hey, if you're not born alpha, you'll never be alpha. Alphas are born. They're not made. You know, that's complete BS, right? Just based on my own experience coaching guys, I've just seen too many guys make these just dramatic turnarounds in who they are to believe otherwise, right? So you know, don't buy into that, you know, especially if you have friends who are telling you that and if you're a little beta, they're like, oh, you never be alpha. If you're beta, you're never going to be alpha. Of course, they're going to tell you that, right? It's basic crabs in the bucket theory. So they're going to tell you whatever it takes to make sure that you don't, you know, basically um, surpass them on the way up, right? And uh, that's unfortunate because even guys like that, you're going to need to get rid of if they're holding you back or they're constantly throwing shade at you. And they're not supporting you or, you know, helping you in your goals. If they're just basically like dead weight, got to let them go. Okay, got to let them go. Got to change your social circle. Uh, so, yeah, at the end of the day, alphas, they're not, you know, they're not necessarily uh, always going to stay alpha, even if they're born alpha, right? Not always.
just makes it easier, right? If they've already have those has the, have those traits um, out of the womb, and they're naturally charismatic, they're naturally you know extroverted, they're natural leaders, um, they naturally take charge, or they're naturally dominant. Um, that's great. They have all the tools, right? They have all the tools and more that they need to um, to maintain <laughs> that level of high value. High, that's not really a word. High valueness throughout their lives, right? They have that more, but it doesn't mean that somebody who was not born with those traits cannot, you know, manufacture them or you know create them or build upon them to become that, right? It's like. It's like if you look at these players in an NFL draft, I always use the NFL draft, you have a lot of players who come into the draft who are drafted high, right? First round draft pick, man. Um, they, they look the part, right? They've got like all the, uh, all the essentials on paper that you would be looking for in a top first round draft pick. And uh, a lot of these guys just have that natural talent, right? They, they're naturally gifted. And there are a lot of players like this in the NFL, naturally gifted, uh, that don't actually do anything with it. They just become busts, right? How many of you times you see these first round draft picks that become just a bust in the NFL, right? And there are all sorts of these videos now on YouTube, like basically documenting these guys who are were like highly recruited out of college or highly recruited out of high school. And then they go to the NFL and they don't do jack shit, right? They become a big ass bust. And then meanwhile, you have this guy who was like a, you know, six round draft pick, like a Tom Brady, who did not look the part, right? You could watch his actual NFL combine tryout on YouTube. It's hilarious, right? You should read the comments too. Hilarious. Watching this guy run around looking like he has no athletic ability whatsoever, but he knows how to win, right? Knows how to win. Does he's not the strongest guy, he's not the biggest guy, doesn't have the you know the best arm, but he knows how to win, right? So and at the end of the day, that's really what counts is you need to know how to win. Uh, the problem is a lot of guys have this very, very uh like old school. Yeah, this old school, almost Neanderthalic idea of what an alpha male is, you know, back from our caveman days, like, no, the alpha male is the guy with a big club and the big, you know, the big body who's tall and jacked and just clubs other dudes over the head and just takes, takes things from them. And that's not, I mean, at least in our society and culture we're living in today, that's not really the definition of an alpha male anymore, right? Because society has changed. We're no longer living in caves. There's not dinosaurs and, you know, pterodactyls running around where we have to, you know, um, basically risk our lives to get food to feed ourselves. I mean, these days, you know, you're not risking your life going to the CVS and buying a bag of barbecue chips, are you? No, you don't have to like wrestle a lion to eat. You don't have to do these things. So now it's really um, a combination of um, physical strength as well as mental strength and also mental discipline because a lot of what's going on in culture today is really mental warfare, right? And really being awake to that and being aware of that and... Um, and being able to maintain and stay true to yourself in the face of all of this basic propaganda that's like being shoved down our throats every single day and almost forcing you and shaming you to think a certain way, to act a certain way, to behave in a certain manner. And being able to just fend that all off and stay true to yourself and who you are um, is really the definition of an alpha in today's times. Okay, in today's times, and usually somebody who is able to do that uh, usually has the discipline to take care of themselves physically too. Do you have to be the biggest guy on the block anymore? No, you don't. You don't have to be like you know bodybuilder or Arnold Schwarzenegger big or anything like that. Um, I mean, it helps because again, you'll have the appearance of an alpha male, but it doesn't mean that you are an alpha male. If you know, if behind all those muscles and all that height and strength and body, you're a complete beta male, right? And I've had that too. I've had guys attack me on this channel, right? Who are like lifting weights, jack dudes, way bigger than me, try to call me out. But yet, like I read their comments and they're totally reactive, totally jealous, totally like, 
um, stuck in their emotional state, totally angry, like lashing out, cursing like a, a like a sixth grade female, and they can't like <laughs> they they can't even see that they're doing that, right? Right. I, I mean, a lot of these guys, too, just because I teach the self-development stuff, a lot of these guys um, are the biggest simps out there, biggest crybabies. Um, again, they have like uh, extreme male jealousy, which in itself is a feminine trait. Super, super beta to be jealous of another dude, lash out at another dude just because, you know, you don't like what he's saying. I mean, that's just so, so beta. And these guys definitely look the part of alpha. They look like an alpha. You saw If you saw him walking down the street, you'd be like, that dude's alpha. But no, he's just really a beta. He's just a little bitch. He's a whiny little bitch that lifts weights. So that is something that needs to be uh, updated is the definition of, an, uh, definition of an alpha for today's times, right? For the for the world that we're living in today, the society we're living in today. You can't grab your club and like club dudes in the head and like take their women and take their food without going to jail, right? It doesn't work that way anymore. That's why I said the definition needs to be updated because now it's all about mental warfare. It's about what you are able to mentally stay detached from, okay? Mentally stay detached from in the face of all of this social pressure which a lot of guys, even guys who fit the part of the alpha male, just fall prey to. Okay, but as always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Uh, share any comments you want to share below. Go ahead and do that in the comment section. I uh, love to see you guys in my comments. Love to read them, so drop those comments below. And as always, this is M, also known as Matt Cross, from Alpha Male Secrets, signing out. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my channel. So please make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, and for you guys who want to support my work and all of this incredible content that I am teaching you here on my Alpha Male Secrets channel, uh, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube, and I'm doing that for obvious reasons. That's to protect my content from YouTube in the event that they ever try to shut me down. I will always have my premium content available on my premium channel because I am paying to be on this other platform. And this is the absolute best way to support my work. So if you love what I'm doing here, I would really appreciate it if you become a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel. And right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. So take advantage of it. Who can't afford a dollar? All you have to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you could get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.